Okay, tutorial number 10 on jQuery, part 4 on animations. Uh, quick review what we did last time. Refresh over here. Uh, if we click this, this grows, uh, moves to the left, and then continues to grow uh, in height-wise. And uh, move, I keep saying move to the left. It moves from the left to the right um, at each time we click. Now, let's, uh, let's simplify this. Uh, going back to what it was uh, originally, uh, we're going to make this set to 250 pixels from the left, moving it to the right. Uh, I'm sure there's a number of times in the previous tutorials that I've said that wrong. Anyway, I'm going to move the height and width part portion of this right now. Um, so first off, let me make sure I did that right it animates to the left. Once again, clicking it again, it does nothing the second time. But at this point, uh, we can also adjust how fast it moves, just like we did in other stuff. We can say, over here, we can say comma. We can say slow, which will do a slower animation, which is almost the same speed. Um, but we can also preset how many uh, how long we want it to take. And so let's say I want it to take three seconds. I would put in uh, 3,000 here because these are thousands of second delays. So 3,000, say, oh, I do that sometimes. 3,000, save that, uh, refresh this. And now it slowly takes three seconds to get where it's going. So once again, I'll refresh it. And so quick movement, it does three seconds to get there. Excuse me. Um, so now the question is, what if we copy and paste that and we set this to zero? It's a good question. <laughs> Refresh that after saving it. What happens? It goes there and it moves back. So it does not continue the next animation until it completes the first animation. So what's happening here, first off, it's not actually starting at zero because the page, I, I think in previous trials I said it's set to zero, which I guess the position is kind of set to zero, but the page has uh, padding around it, and you can remove padding. Um, I might be wrong on saying that, but I'm close. Anyway, so what happens here is when we click this, it starts moving till it gets to 250 pixels from the left, and then it moves back until it gets back to zero, or whatever number we put in here. If I put in uh, 100, that's 1,000, 100, now it will move 250 pixels to the right and then back until it gets to 100 pixels from the left. So uh, and we can also change the speeds of these. We can have it go out fast and come back slow. So I'll just erase the, the time value there and let it do the default speed. Let's refresh this when I click this. Boom. Goes out fast and comes back slow. Click it again. Boom. Goes out fast, comes back slow. So that's kind of it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you those two things that the animation speed can be set just by putting a comma and then uh, how slow you want the, the delay to be. Here it's three seconds. 3,000 3, is, is three seconds. 1,000 is one second. 5,000 is five seconds. Uh, and uh, then, of course, the animation you want. And this, this doesn't just work with, with um, the, the left uh, positioning. Uh, you can do the same thing with height, width, uh, opacity. You can just just remember that uh, one animation does not start till the next animation, till the last animation finished. So once again, fast, then slow back, fast, then slow back. So uh, I thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you're enjoying these ones on animation. And uh, once again, we're just building up to bigger things further down the line. Got to learn some basics first. So jQuery is very useful. I hope you're finding that. I personally like it. I've talked to some people who don't, uh, but uh, everybody has their opinions. But it works. It gets the job done. And it's fairly supported in, in many browsers. So I thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy these tutorials. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. Be sure to subscribe, like this video if you enjoy it, uh, and I hope that you have 
a great day.